finish the mock-up for the rosemary pattern by mood fabrics now i'm gonna tell you guys you should know or if you don't know you're about to know i love blazers and jackets i do i make a lot of blazers and jackets because i don't know they're comfortable to me so i'm always looking for that pattern that is just going to be going to get you know my shape right exactly what i want in a blazer and guys i think i found my pattern so this is the rosemary pattern by mood this is my mock-up so this is not the jacket this is the mock-up um i went through and i did my measurements and i had to do some small changes some adjustments to the side for my waist but for the most part everything else was exactly cut out exactly what the pattern had um saying that I actually enjoy it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the pictures that I took of the front and the back. Actually, I didn't take it. My husband took it. But the front and the back. And I'm not going to lie. Even my mock-up, like if it was some real fabric, I would wear this. So I'm going to take it off. Um, the reason why if you do a mock-up, and this pattern actually calls for you to do a mock-up. So when you're reading the Rosemary pattern, um, it tells you that... You should do a mock-up after you go through your measurements and the pattern to make sure that everything lines up. And I'm telling you guys, when you do a blazer, um, you want to do that. I don't know if you are a part of the Sew It Academy. I'm going to tell you what the Sew It Academy is. Sew It Academy is by Mimi G. And she goes through how to sew from taking the sewing machine out of the box all the way to making your own pattern. Well, there is a blazer um, class that you can take and you can go at your own pace and you can jump around. So one day I actually jumped around and did that blazer. So I was able to do um, one of Mimi's jacket and I love the jacket. I'll place a picture of that here too. But some of the things they tell you is that when you're doing blazers and jackets, your measurements have to be on point. Well, you take all the measurements that you need for the rosemary blazer and i'm telling you guys it it works and even for us big girls um they got us in mind when we um get in patterns off of mood and i know doing mood patterns are a little time consuming because of the fact that you have to print out all the pages and cut and then you know tape them all together but if you can find a company like i did in one of my past videos i talked about the company that I use to do the mood patterns is worth it. I really do love this pattern. It hugs in all the right places. And in addition to that, I don't think I'm going to make that many changes to it. Um, probably one of the changes I'm going to work on is the sleeve. So for the sleeve itself, it works. I think the placement of where the sleeve is on my shoulder, I want to change it. Now, one of the things that I always tell you guys, when I do a new pattern, I do a mock-up. Or if I've lost weight, if I gain weight, if I'm doing a pattern that I used to do, I'm going to do a mock-up because I want to be able to put it on and see what changes need to be made. And so far, the only changes that I need to make... Ooh. Hold on, guys. I got to go get my pencil. Is I want to bring in my sleeve a little bit. So I want to make it a little bit more narrow and I want to change my shoulder. So the cap on my shoulder, I'm going to bring up a little bit. And one of the best things about making a mock-up is that you can do this. You can take it right off and you see the changes you want to make. Grab a chalk marker, whatever you need to do, and you go ahead and do it on here so then when you get ready to make your pattern take those those adjustments go to your pattern fix what you need to fix on it and then 
you know your jacket is going to work out well. Um, I'm not doing a sew along for this. I'm going to do a pattern review. But so far with my mock-up, I am very excited to do this. I'm going to show you guys what fabric I'm going to use for this jacket. So when I first decided to do this jacket, I watched this, guys. When I first decided to do this jacket, I was going to do it all in this gold color. And I know it does not... You can't see how beautiful this fabric is. Um, this gold, it is gold apricot, and I had talked about it in a previous um, video, but I'm going to do it out of the gold apricot. Now, was going to do it completely out of that, but looking at my stash, I found this beautiful African print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this print, and it's going to be the front of the jacket, and this apricot gold is going to be the sleeve and the sides because I have enough fabric of that. And of course, if you're doing this jacket, it does call for a lining. So I'm going to line it in this navy blue. You guys know me, I love blue, so blue has to be somewhere in there. So the inside of the jacket is going to be this navy blue. Now, some of the other things you may need when you're doing this jacket, um, it calls for about three to four yards of fabric, just depending on um your size and addition to that i am going to do interfacing so i'm going to interface the front part of my jacket and you can do that several ways um if you have any questions on interfacing definitely get with me and we can talk about it some of the other things besides lining you're going to need a couple buttons and thread and you're going to be good to go so i'm looking forward to doing this right after this video i am going to I have one more video to make, and then after that, I'm going to start cutting out my pieces, and I'm ready to make this jacket. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me on my Mood Fabric collection, and I can't wait to show you this rosemary jacket. You guys have a great day.